Okay, so um, thank you all for coming in. Uh, this will be a short session because this is our first time, first first class. Okay, so today is our two hour session. Okay, two hours. Okay, and uh, the two hour session is the tutorial session. Okay, and for the one hour, one hour is the lecture session. I believe that you already have the one hour lecture with Madam Raslina. Betul? Uh, with Madam Raslina. Dah ya? Eh? Uh, belum lagi. Huh? Belum lagi? Kelas hari apa? Yang one hour tu hari apa? Hmm. Ahad. Hari, hari Ahad. Ahad. So hari, hari, hari Ahad lepas ada kelas tak? Dia suruh download Microsoft Team. Oh, tu je. Hmm. Uh, lepas tu ada explanation or uh, briefing about the syllabus? Tak, dia tak buat Google Meet pun. Dia just dalam Telegram. Telegram je lah. So ada briefing ke? Tak ada? Tak ada. Tak ada, iya. Tak ada lagi so meaning that next week baru start lah. You, you good. Mm. Hmm. Okay tak apa. So hari ni I will brief a little bit in about the syllabus and also the assignment. Uh, when we have the two lecturers ni for the lecture session so uh, Madam Rasna dia akan ajar everything lah uh, from the syllabus while for me for during the tutor hour session ni uh, we're going to focus on the assignment okay so saya tak ajar saya cuma uh, tunjuk lah how to do the assignment dan sebagainya lah we focus on the assignment okay so I'm going to share you my screen Okay. Kalau tak nampak, tolong bagi tahu eh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the bit lah since uh, you, uh, Madam Rasina didn't uh, explain yet, so saya terangkan the bit lah. Okay. So at the end of the course, students should be able to explain the fundamentals of entrepreneurship. Okay. To demonstrate the mind uh, in identifying business opportunities. Okay. So we hope that by the end of the session of the semester, you will have, uh, you can identify uh, business opportunities so that maybe um, you can grab the opportunity to become an entrepreneur to demonstrate entrepreneurial skills in preparing a business plan. So um, from this uh, subject, okay, you have to produce a business plan at the end of the semester. Lah. Okay. Uh, be kurang lah ini. Okay, so this is the uh, lesson plan for the whole um, semester. Okay, so this is our first semester, uh, sorry, first week. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure, I mean in that since you not started yet the chapter, the class. Okay, so uh, yang bahagian lecture ni maybe Madam Rasina can explain nanti lah. Okay, well I only focus on the tutorial. Okay, so uh, for this week, kita akan brief sikit a little bit about the first assignment, okay? And uh, you can start doing the entrance survey, okay? Daripada minggu ni lah, okay? Do the entrance survey. Uh, so basically, each week ni, kita akan, um, you will uh, show me progress by progress for your assignment, okay? So kalau tengok kat sini, first week lagi, kita dah discuss about the first assignment, okay? The second week going to continue juga dengan yang ni adalah the PEC pun untuk the first assignment. PEC here referring kepada personal interpreter competencies of the interpreter lah, okay? Lepas tu, the third week ni, okay, uh, you akan uh, continue step buat untuk assignment tu, okay, sebab yang assignment one ni dah settle kat sini, okay, so the third week ni, you boleh continue lah, finish up your first assignment and then start discussing with me about your second assignment. In the fourth week, you have to submit your first assignment, okay, on the 22nd of April, okay. Lepas tu dalam masa yang sama juga, in fourth week ni, uh, we're going to continue discussing, you have to submit the progress of the second assignment. In fifth week, okay, you continue with the progress of the second assignment and we're going to discuss a little bit uh, about the third assignment, yeah, business plan. 
Um, in six week pun kita sama juga kita continue bis, uh, second assignment BMC second assignment and continue lagi dengan uh, third assignment. Okay, after that we're going to go for the mid semester break raya break. Selepas raya break tu in week seven you will submit the second assignment. And then macam biasa kita continue lah dengan kita punya uh, third assignment uh, business plan. Okay, so business plan all together dia ada 10 chapters lah. Okay, so sampai sini adalah sampai dah chapter 5. Okay, and then uh, untuk marketing plan ni semua adalah yang you belajar during lecture for the uh, business plan, the third assignment. Okay, so bisa you learning, uh, you belajar for the, uh, during lecture you akan belajar all this chapter yang dah ikut syllabus ni. Uh, since ni semua adalah uh, masuk juga untuk the third assignment. So during the tutorial session ni, I will uh, show you or explain to you on how to do all this lah marketing plan, business plan dan sebagainya detail. Kalau macam during the lecture session, Madam Rasna will not explain detail on the assignment. Okay, so dia akan ajar generally for the uh, according to the textbook lah. Okay, cuma saya saya akan fokus kepada assignment. Okay. And then continue sampai marketing plan and then we go for another break, okay. Festival break for one week. So, lepas tu week 9 continue lagi dengan uh, business plan, our third assignment. So, in business, uh, in week 9 ni you can start doing the SUFO and also exit survey, okay. So, throughout uh, week 10, 11, 12 and 13, kita akan continue lah doing our uh, business plan, the third assignment, okay. So, you have to submit um, the assignment, the assignment dekat dalam week 14. Okay. So week 14 ni you have to submit to assignment, business plan and also uh, video. Video pitching. Okay. Video tu adalah daripada business plan tu lah. Okay. So I explain a further about the continuous assessment. So altogether we have four assessment. Yang ni adalah berdasarkan kepada semester lepas. Okay. Untuk semester ini, dia ada perubahan sikit. However, kita tak tahu juga perubahan tu what are the things that they, they want to change eh, for the assessment ni. So, we still waiting for them to approve to to inform us lah. So far, we only confirm the assessment that we gonna do adalah the first assessment. Assignment yang pertama lah, which is the case study. Okay. So, this is the individual this is the individual assignment for 20%. Okay. So, kalau ikutkan the last semester ass assessment two is the business opportunity or where you have to do business model canvas, BMC. Also, the individual assignment, 30%. The third assignment is business plan report. This is the group assignments for 40%. And the last one is business plan pitching group juga 10%. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about the sec, uh, first assign, assignment tu memang confirm you kena buat. The second assignment is not confirm yet. Tapi biasanya kalau macam untuk business plan ni memang kena buat sebab dekat dalam dia punya objective of the uh, subject pun memang we want to student to produce the business plan. So uh, I'm sure that for business plan ni still kena buat juga lah. Okay. If uh, follow what uh, we have done for the last semester, for business plan, you buy a group, group of five, okay. And for the business plan pitching, where you have to submit a video for the pitching too, okay. Uh, a three minutes video, yeah, you record, lepas tu you upload dekat dalam YouTube and then you submit to me the uh, link, eh. And then, the, uh, walaupun dia grouping, tapi cuma seorang saja yang adalah muncul ataupun do the presentation tu, 10%. Okay. I'll explain further about the rest of the assessment later when we confirm. Uh, today, I'm going to explain about the first assignment. Okay. The first assignment is case study, um, personal entrepreneur competencies for 20%. Okay. Students are required to identify and gather information about one entrepreneur and it's business, okay. So the entrepreneur must be someone who are successful in the business, okay. Successful means that tak boleh lah macam orang tu baru one year in the business, okay. At least dalam three years lah, 
or in the business and the entrepreneur can be a uh, local or international you can choose anyone that you like lah so siapa je boleh okay as long as it's easy for you to get the information about the entrepreneur and also its business Mm. So sources can be from newspaper articles, yeah, website, ke, website of the entrepreneur or uh, his business, from the punya blog, ke, internet, ke, etc. Cuma all the uh, when you want to gather the information, to everything will be from online lah. Mm. You don't have to do the interview with the entrepreneur. Okay? Just um, abstract aja daripada online. Okay, and uh, from there you will prepare a report. So dekat sini, you have to first, um, for the entrepreneur tu, you have to get the background of the entrepreneur and then you have to find out dia punya business background. Okay. After that, you will continue. Okay. You have to include any two personal entrepreneur competencies, PEC, of the selected entrepreneur. Okay. PEC, personal entrepreneurial competencies or the characteristic of the entrepreneur where um, we think that this entrepreneur, you think entrepreneur ni dia ada characteristic ni which can make him a successful entrepreneur. Okay. So nanti, uh, maybe next week, okay, you will learn about the PEC ni lah dalam your lecture with Madam Raslina. Okay. Identify and explain with example the PEC based on the information that you have collected. So nanti you akan tengok dekat dalam slide dia ada beberapa PEC okay. So you cuma pilih dua saja PEC and then you bagi, uh, mention what PEC is that and then uh, bagi dia punya definition from the slide and then give the example. Why do you think that uh, the entrepreneur have this uh, competencies? Okay. This is the format for the first assignment. Okay, of course you're going to have to do the cover page. Cover page yang biasa lah, standard assignment, 5 marks. Table of contents pun 5 marks juga. Table of contents ni is the list of the content that you have in the assignment tu. Okay, so you have to list everything. And don't forget to include the uh, page number. Sometimes student lupa nak letakkan page number. Dia just naraikan sahaja. Okay, so you have to include the page number in the table of content. Kalau you tak masukkan page number, saya tolak sikit lah markah tu. Okay. And then after that, you will do the executive summary. Executive summary is a brief explanation of the content of your report. Meaning that when a reader read the executive summary, he will get the brief overview about the whole content of your assignment. Macam kita uh, overview lah of the content tu, okay. So usually for all these three parts, the first three parts ni kita akan buat after we've done with the whole assignment. Baru lah kita tahu uh, page number dia dan juga the summary dia lah for the whole content tu. Okay. So yang tu adalah for five marks. Executive summary ni kita buat dalam pendek je, dalam one paragraph. Okay. And then you will do the introduction, okay. For this introduction, you have to include the entrepreneur profile, okay, and also the business profile, okay, for 10 marks, okay. And then entrepreneurial characteristic, okay, yeah, definition for two PEC that you choose, okay. Explain with example to relate the PEC with the entrepreneur. So, total is 10 marks. Meaning that, uh, for example, the first uh, the first uh, PEC, contoh katakanlah you ambil first PEC is problem solving. Okay, so lepas tu you bagi the definitions, apa yang dimaksudkan with the problem solving tu lah. This definition, definition you can get from the slide. Okay, so lepas tu you give the example. Okay, uh, why do you say that the entrepreneur have the this characteristic? Bagilah contoh dia, okay. Sama juga lah and then the second PEC apa, uh, definition siapa, bagi example. Okay. And then appendix for five marks, okay. Appendix what to include in appendix, you can include let's say that uh, newspaper cutting, okay, when that you find out about the entrepreneur or about his business ataupun dia punya product ke, dia punya uh, promotion ke, apalah ya. Eh. And overall report, uh, spelling, sentence structure and grammar is for 10 marks. So the total marks is 50 marks. Okay, equals to 20%. 
Ini sangat senang lah assignment ni for me uh, senang je. Okay. Ada soalan tak about this assignment? Uh, saya ada soalan. Ya. Yeah. Uh, tu apa beza entrepreneur profile dengan business profile tu mana? Apa beza? Uh, entrepreneur entrepreneur profile ni you beritahu profile that owner lah orang tu entrepreneur tu for the business profile tu you tulis about the business tu contohnya business tu nama business tu apa develop bila, bila establish bila business tu jual apa dan sebagainya lah menjawab ke? faham ya dah ok So tak perlu uh, tulis panjang-panjang for the entrepreneur profile ataupun business profile dalam one page pun dah cukup dah. Okay. And all uh, for this assignment, uh, assignment one ni, you have to do it in uh, infographic report. You tahu infographic report macam mana? Tahu tak? Yang graf semua tu ke? Uh, dia sebab dia tak ada graf ni tapi dia infographic so dia ada grafik gambar-gambar kan lepas tu dia ada information okay contohnya oh. macam sekarang ni kan nowadays banyak uh, apa uh, report yang kita tengok kan whenever they want to give out the information okay so they put it into infographic so that is the viewers akan rasa interesting, easier to read the report. Okay, contohnya every day ke, every week ke kita akan tengok uh, KKM punya infographic report. Contohlah. Hmm, contoh. Okay. Boleh? Uh, untuk boleh, buat boleh. Uh, boleh untuk buat infographic report ni dia boleh buat kat mana-mana saja contohnya mungkin macam you nak guna Canva pun boleh juga. Dia ada juga kat situ. Okay. And all the assignment You save dalam bentuk PDF. Okay, and then submit secara online lah nanti. Nanti saya akan bagi link lah for the submission. Okay, dekat dalam you future. Alright, ada lagi soalan? About the assignment? Ada? Ada eh? Okay, let's continue. Okay, how uh, I get your attendance? Okay, um, biasanya for our class untuk tutorial ni, saya tak buat GMIT. Okay, um, GMIT ni hari ni kita buat GMIT sebabnya this is our first time class. Okay, and then uh, I just want to explain to you, to inform you macam mana cara kita belajar lah for throughout the semester. So, biasanya every week you will go to you future. Okay. I'm sure you know how to use you future kan. Lepas tu you pergi dekat learning activities. Okay. So bila you pergi dekat learning activities, you akan nampak lah nama saya ni. Nama saya Azrina Syamsuddin ya. Eh. Uh, lepas tu you akan nampak course of review, week one lecture, week one uh, tutorial. Cumanya you tak nampak yang yang week one lecture tu sebab saya tak include you kat situ lah. Yang tu adalah untuk student saya yang lain. So you akan nampak week one punya tutorial. Okay. So nanti you klik kat situ. Bila you klik kat situ dia ada tracking. Okay. So macam ni lah contohnya. Ni contoh untuk lecture lah kan. Um, contoh bila you klik tu contoh untuk lecture ni dia ada dua video lecture. So the students have to uh, tengok lah view lah the video ni sampai habis. Okay. So kalau macam uh, pangkah ni meaning that the student tak tak start lagi lah. Okay. Kalau macam dia dah habis tengok dia akan jadi macam ni lah completed. Okay. Kalau macam dia buka saja tak tengok ataupun dia tengok tak habis dia akan jadi in progress. Okay. Uh, sama juga lah kalau macam uh, tutorial kan. Contohnya for this week punya tutorial kan. Kita dah start dah dengan the first assignment where you have to choose your entrepreneur. Uh, just tulis je nama entrepreneur yang you suka, you nak buat tentang siapa, nama dia, lepas tu nama business dia. Bila you comment je, so dia akan tick sebagai completed. Okay, that's your attendance lah for the week. Uh, kalau macam you baca saja, you tak komen, so dia akan jadi in progress. Kalau you tak buka langsung, dia akan jadi not started. Boleh? So you have uh, the whole week to 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 uh, to do the assignment tu lah. Eh, kejap. Uh, I want to show you the contoh lah kan. Uh, kalau macam Um, you buka you feature tu sekejap, lupa sekejap eh hmm. okay so okay so this is the you feature nampak eh 
Okay, so bila bila you masuk dekat dalam you future tu, okay, so you akan nampak learning activities and then you click lah dekat activities, okay. So kat sini um, rasanya you boleh nampak ni yang course overview, so you boleh tengok lah lesson plan. Uh, ni adalah soalan lah for the assignment 1, assignment 2, 3 dan seterusnya lah, okay. Dan juga link, okay. Uh, so nanti boleh view lah for the first assignment ni tengok uh, ni adalah soalan dia so tengok lah panduan dia macam mana okay. Kalau tak nak tengok pun tak apa sebab kat sini tak ada tracking okay. Lepas tu uh, yang ni adalah untuk tutorial okay. So untuk tutorial ni uh, saya masukkan powerpoint sebab ada student saya yang saya tutorial juga Kata diorang tak ada powerpoint so saya bagi dulu kat sini However I believe that your uh, apa, lecturer for the lecture session tu, dia akan bagi uh, powerpoint juga, okay uh, so, so kat sini kalau tengok dia tak ada tracking, so kalau macam you tak nak buka tengok, tak nak download pun it's okay, okay, so ini adalah example untuk first assignment sebabnya ada student bagi tahu mereka tak tahu contoh dia macam mana, okay, since I want you to do in infographic report lah contoh untuk F infographic report. Contohnya tapi saya tak ambil the whole yang student buat lah. I just cut and paste a few um, pages of their assignment lah. Uh, contoh. So nanti boleh tengok lah. Uh, ni ada dalam 6, 6 muka surat ni. Okay. So dia ada dua kat sini. So nanti tengok eh. Okay contoh lah. Okay. Uh, lepas tu uh, dekat dalam um, Tutorial for this week juga, okay. Untuk uh, example ni kalau you tak view pun tak apa, tak nak tengok contoh pun tak apa. Untuk yang video ni dah video, video ni saya bukan video yang saya ajar. Cuma dia adalah video tentang entrepreneur lah yang saya ambil dekat YouTube, okay. Video yang saya mengajar saya tak masukkan dekat sini sebab saya tak ajar, saya tak lecture you. So saya masukkan yang dekat lecture lah, okay. I'm, I, I tak share dengan you lah sebab I'm not Uh, lecturing you, okay. So, you boleh tengok ni, kau tengok, tak nak tengok pun tak apa, okay. <laughs> Next is the assignment one, choose your entrepreneur. Yang ni dia ada tracking, okay. So, mean that you have to do lah. But, bila you dah buat tu, baru dia kira as your attendance for this week, okay. Choose one successful entrepreneur for assignment one, he or she can be local or international. Write the entrepreneur's name and his business. So, you comment lah dekat bawah sini. Ni ada student saya daripada group lain yang yang comment juga lah. So, you akan nampak juga I believe. I'm not sure. Macam tu lah. So, bila you comment saja, uh, barulah dia akan tanda you sebagai um, hadir. Yes? Soalan? Tadi yang yang apa PowerPoint tadi kat mana? Ni PowerPoint kat sini. Oh, PowerPoint okey okey. Ah, okay. uh, PowerPoint ada kat sini lah. Contoh a uh, PowerPoint, okey. So you boleh buka dekat sini ataupun you boleh download it's up to you lah. Okey. Kiranya ada dua ada dua entrepreneur ada dua entrepreneur yang kita kena letak dalam ni. Ada dua entrepreneur tak satu je Satu je. Satu dua je. Dua karakteristik kan? Dua karakteristik. Ah, yang karakteristik tu tak payah buat lagi. Oh, okay. Sebabnya, uh, you tak belajar lagi. So, minggu ni since uh, macam, minggu ni cuma buat yang ni sahaja, kan? Yang ni je. So, nanti you tekan start, kan? Lepas tu, dia pun jawab lah, okay? Dia cuma oh, minta you tulis nama, nama entrepreneur tu dengan dia punya business apa tu je. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, simple aja. Mean that, okay, bila you dah identify entrepreneur tu, mean that minggu ni you boleh lah cari-cari fikir-fikir siapa you nak buat siapa kan dengan bisnes apa. So, selepas tu nanti bila you dah tahu dah nak buat uh, siapa, and then lepas tu you boleh lah cari dia punya background dia, kan. Background entrepreneur tu, background bisnes dia. Tapi yang tu saya tak suruh hantar, semua yang ni je. Nak nama dia dengan nama bisnes dia. Boleh? Oh, okay. boleh, boleh, boleh. Uh, Haa, boleh. boleh. Okay, simple je lah. Hmm. Ada soalan tak? So, itu je lah. Uh, attendance memang kita ambil daripada situ. Bila you tulis tu, seterus dia akan uh, kira sebagai attendance. Uh, ada nak tanya? Ada soalan tak? 
Hmm. Saya tu je nak explain sebabnya uh, contoh sebabnya I believe that uh, nanti uh, Madam Rasna akan explain further lah about the syllabus because saya cuma fokus kepada assessment, assignment. Kita semuanya assignment lah kita. Hmm. Soalan? So every week I will remind you macam minggu ni buat apa dan seterusnya lah. Kalau macam saya lupa nak remindkan, you masuk aja dekat learning activities, carilah ikut kepada minggu. Okay, so nanti saya akan update lah daripada minggu ke minggu. What you need to do. Okay. Uh, macam biasa juga lah untuk all the other subject pun sama juga. You have to fulfill at least 80% of your attendance. Okay. Um, so, uh, kalau macam you tak sempat buat ke minggu ni tak sempat buat. Minggu depan baru boleh buat. You mention, uh, beritahu lah saya. Okay. Uh, ataupun macam minggu depan depan you tak sempat lah nak buat, nak tengok semua tu so you nak buat minggu ni, nak siapkan dulu pun boleh juga. Okay, as long as you buat lah. Okay. All the activities saya akan always remind you, beritahu you apa nak buat on Sunday. Sunday saya akan inform dekat dalam WhatsApp group uh, apa that you have to do. Okay. And then you have until Saturday untuk buat lah, masuk dan buat. Doesn't matter lah you nak masuk bila, nak buat bila, it's up to you as long as by Saturday tu uh, you dah siap buat. Okay. Faham tak? Itulah oh, cara kita belajar. Okay. Ada nak tanya? Kata kalau macam yang nanti yang for uh, tutorial minggu ni kan Uh, kebetulan sama entrepreneur tu, orang yang sama, okay, kawan you nak buat yang tu, you pun nak buat yang tu, it's okay, boleh je, tak ada masalah. Oh. Hmm. Sebab mungkin nanti bila dia punya karakteristik tu, PEC tu mungkin berbeza. Katakan PEC tu pun sama juga. <laughs> PLA, PEC yang sama juga, tapi the way you explain, the way you give example tu mungkin berbeza, kan tak sama lah. Okay. Soalan? Okay. Tak ada. Tak ada soalan? Okay. Madam, yang yeah. series tu kan, yang untuk next tu, nak yeah. kena ikut yang kita bagi yang first ni ke? First assignment uh, ni? Uh -huh. And kita bagi nama dengan uh, dia punya business kan? Yeah, yeah. Nanti yang karakteristik tu kita kena ikut juga ke yang ni? Ke boleh ah, pilih siapa yang no, no, no. <laughs> Maksudnya macam ni, uh, untuk assignment one ni kita start buat minggu ni kan? Okay, minggu ni you cuma bagi tahu je nama dia dengan nama nama bisnes dia lah kan? Lepas tu nanti minggu depan you belajar tentang PEC karakteristik tu so you sambung lah you cari karakteristik oh. untuk yang orang yang sama lah sebab dia kita akan continue yang first assignment ni Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Cuma karakteristik tu tak payah risau lagi. Yang tu minggu depan belajar dulu. Oh, okay. Okay. Lagi? Okay. Soalan lain? Yes, Syahir ada soalan? Oh, tak ada. Okay. So, kalau tak ada apa-apa, so yang tu je lah. Uh, kelas kita untuk hari ni. Uh, I hope that you understand cara kita belajar macam mana, macam tu lah. Okay. Sebabnya adalah saya memang suruh student saya untuk, um, kalau macam untuk ANT ni memang kebiasaannya lecturer akan suruh student tu hantar progress by progress lah. Every week they have to show the progress. So dengan cara macam tu, bila you hantar progress, nanti lecturer akan komen. So kalau ada salah, dia suruh betulkan apa. So that bila you hantar yang betul-betul punya pada due date, you akan hantar benda yang betul. Okay. So tak adalah you hantar benda yang salah. So bila you hantar benda yang betul, so maka you akan dapat tinggi lah. Usually for the subject, memang student, dia tak ada student yang fail. Unless kalau macam student tu missing ke, tak buat kerja ke, so mungkin dia akan fail lah. But uh, macam Sam lepas tak ada pun student saya paling rendah pun dapat B. Tu pun seorang je yang dapat B. Yang lain tu semuanya A. Tapi mudahnya, uh, ni lah subjek ni. Okay, so hopefully you all pun akan score juga lah sebabnya you tak ramai dalam sebelas orang je so senang lah untuk saya monitor. Alright. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining uh, petang ni okay, for our first session. So uh, next week saya akan bagi tahu lah uh, aktiviti seterusnya lah pada hari Ahad nanti. Okay.
Okay. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Okay. Thank you,